hello there and welcome to data diaries so in today's video i will be just demoing or showing you some product combos that i use to do another set of mini twists and to prep my hair for this particular set i washed it with the anjaki's also clean shampoo and deep condition with the in control moisturizing conditioner so that is what i prepped my hair with and before going into style my mini twists like i have mentioned in the past in my other styling videos i do like to part my hair from side to side because i have low density aka thin hair so my scalp tends to show a lot and i like to be strategic with my parting so i just parted it from side to side as well as the top so for this particular set of mini twists i wanted to do two side parts as you will see and that is how i parted my hair so the purpose of this video is just me trying out um, uh, these products for mini twists because for mini twists you know what we're told is you need really really thick products make sure your hair is moisturized because you're ideally keeping them you know away for quite some time so my leave-in conditioner was the quench leave-in and I applied a generous amount to one section and just finger detangled my hair and sorry about my facial expression there at that point i was still getting amused at how my hair would form when i would apply the quench leave in you know to wet or just maybe even t-shirt dried or towel dried hair it, it does this foaming thing so i worked that in and the quench leave in is even though it's foaming it's it's quite a um it's it's, it's not a liquid leave in it's more of a very heavy glycerin based type of leave-in so once i was done applying the leave-in i just put my hair in a plait while i applied leave-in to the rest of the sections of my hair so i just went in and made my second side part and proceeded to just do that for the rest of my hair so as i was saying with the product combos a lot of videos um uh, recommend that you use heavy products when you're doing mini twists and most people do use a sheer butter or just like a like some sort of natural hair butter and i have done that in the past with the fro lady products i will leave a link in the description box for you which i absolutely enjoyed but then i ran out and then yeah i was just curious to see what a curl defining cream would do in the case of mini twists so yeah for the actual styling, I use this Defining Curl Custard by Curl Lala. So it is actually a, a custard and most people are like, don't use a custard, don't use a gel. But I was curious. <laughs> and that, that is what it looks like. It's a very creamy product. In fact, more, more thick and almost buttery yeah, than a, a light cream per se. So the quench and this, you know, are quite heavy, or at least for my type of hair. And I felt that, you know, like they would be a good combo for mini twists because mini twists are supposed to be you know, thoroughly moisturized before you set them in i then well at least that's what everybody recommends then i i then went in with some sweet almond oil so just 100 percent sweet almond oil and in my previous styling video just in case anybody you know watches my videos religiously i didn't seal um my hair with an oil because I was wearing it out for a week and I was just trying to test out, you know, those two products. But this time, because I knew I was keeping my hair in a style for, you know, two weeks and it was going to be mini twists, I did seal with an oil. Yeah. So I opted to do quite uh, large partings, well, at least large for me. And this is how I sectioned my hair or just chose to size this particular set of mini twists. Then I just worked the product in before I went in to twist and then tried to make sure that the that the two pieces of, of hair that I were that I was getting were as equal as possible and then I just two strand twisted my hair. So 
So when I got towards the end, I just got a bit more of the Crawlala, which is the styler, and just applied it to my ends to, you know, further moisturize my ends and twirled it. And then I just repeated that for the rest of its upper section. So for this particular part, my hair already has the quench leave-in, just as a reminder. And then I had also applied the Crawlala to the entire section, and then I, I would just do the partings of, of the mini twists and then go in and twist them then i can do one more demo with the very back of my of my head <laughs> so the leave-in was already there like i'm um, sat in a plait wh while i was working on the other sections and this kind of helps the like the hair stay moisturized until i, I have to work on a section then there i'm just going in with the curl a la so I gone in once and then I just went in a second time and focused on my ends more. And yeah, like these two products were quite the thick combo. <laughs> they really were. And then I went in and sealed everything in with some sweet almond oil. I got a bit more and focused on my ends. Once I was done with the whole section, I now began to do partings for the back. So I, I, I first made a parting like you know, like uh, horizontally from side to side, and then I went in and made smaller sections for the actual mini twists. And then I, I applied a bit more of the curl a lot to the ends and twirled it. And then this is what the back section was looking like. And then I'd also worked on those two side parts. And once I was done, this is what my mini twists were looking like. So like I, like I keep saying, the, the products were quite heavy. So here it looked like, you know, it was not really sitting, but okay. Yeah, part of it was sitting on my hair, but it had also, you know, penetrated and had thoroughly moisturized my hair, but it was really, really thick. Yeah. And was almost weighing my hair down. So this was about two days later, and I had just air dried my mini twists, and this is what they were looking like. So for my morning routine, all I would do is just apply a bit of sweet almond oil to my fingers before touching my hair. And this is not to moisturize my hair i repeat it's not to moisturize my hair it's just to kind of lessen frizz and just make sure that my hands aren't dry when i'm touching my hair but it is not to moisturize my hair and then also just to give my hair just a bit more luster even as the days go by but not to moisturize it because i already did the work using products that were really nice and rich to ensure that my hair was thoroughly moisturized for a style like this and the quench and the curl a lot did deliver so i just did a yeah like a like my <laughs> my my now signature roll and tuck style with these mini with these mini twists and this is how i wore them for the first week so i was supposed to refresh my hair maybe like i've been doing with my other sets but literally 10 days went by i was so busy at the time and i just realized that i hadn't you know refreshed my hair or even filmed it so yeah like i sat down and when I felt my hair, it actually felt moisturized. Like it was so weird. And I know like if I was watching somebody else's video, I think I might even judge them for not having done anything to their hair for 10 days or not having added any more product. But I didn't want to add some more at that point. Like it felt okay. It felt <laughs> and looked like it was, you know, like it was still good 10 days later. So all I did was just um, uh, separate the very back of my head because in the second week, I was wearing these mini twists in a ponytail and I wasn't really doing the, the roll and tuck anymore. So I I just redid the very back because I wanted that to look neat. And yeah, it was really weird because I was just like, wow, like 10 days like, <laughs> and, and it still looks and feels okay. So yeah, I didn't want to force it. I just, you know, listened to my hair and... It was okay like it was okay i know i would judge someone else so, so someone might, might be judging me too 10 days later 
but he honestly didn't need any more product so once i was done with that back section i just yeah took the rest of my hair down and i don't know if you can tell but it like it looked fine like it actually looked fine <laughs> And yeah, I, I could have done a, a, a better job of twisting it up so that it looked better. But yeah, you, you get the point of what I was trying to do. So this is what the rest of my twist looked like. And like I said, like my morning routine was just a, a matter of applying a bit of sweet almond oil to my hands and then working it through my hair just to add a bit of shine. Yeah, and to reduce frizz. And then I would just sleep with the satin scarf. Yeah, like I always do. And then this was the next morning again just a bit of sweet almond oil from which is what i was which is what was my morning routine applied a bit to my hair and then styled it into a ponytail so i, I remember doing a ponytail cut for the second week and i, I would just brush my hairline a bit I remember being so tired and exhausted like like work was a lot <laughs> i think during this week or, the, or, or that particular you know time of that month i think that was like april or may or something like that and i didn't even bother with edge control <laughs> i was just like let me just tie this and go to work but yeah thank goodness like the moisture retention with my hair and those products you know did me a huge favor where like i, I didn't have to worry about anything so yeah i just you know tucked it in made sure everything was nice and neat secured it some more with another hair tie and that was how i wore my hair so this is now day 11 of having these mini twists yeah at this point That was the finished look. Hi, so I thought I could just show you how I take down these mini twists in case, ooh, <laughs> in case anybody is wondering. Um, I'm using this also from the same line. This is the not on my watch instant detangling therapy and i've had these mini twists in for two weeks and i was feeling really really lazy today but it's worked <laughs> i didn't even spray my hair with water or anything this um detangler is quite a like, like, like a watery product anyways so i'm just putting on a generous amount so i work on uh, i would work it into a section of this size to start with and then I would focus on my roots so as not to leave that out and to soften it as well and then get some more and apply it to my ends and then if you want to you can let it sit for like a couple of seconds but <laughs> for demonstration purposes I will just get right into it here and see yeah it's, it's absorbed before everything was sticking out but it's absorbed into my hair this is yeah this is, this is bay i've liked this product for a while and i'm glad that it still works so this is different from my initial um mini twist takedown video i will link it in case anybody's interested you can just check the description box that one was very very detailed but for this one yeah i'm not even doing the whole water first or mixing like a leave-in with water like no i'm just going in straight with this product and then granted this size of my mini twist as you can tell is kind of large well large for me this is the, the, the size that i call large so it's also easy to separate and yeah i will just go through and take it down and then once i'm done i'm just you know lightly running my fingers through not necessarily finger detangling but just you know trying to get rid of whatever shed hair i'll catch and then twisting it up before you know like i pre-pull and 
proceed with my watch day but i just thought i could you know show you how i have taken down the mini twists in case anybody was wondering because that is important as well like once you put in a style you also want to take it down safely so for those where um for, for example like i'm encountering um tension as i'm trying to slide my finger down because that's not a bad example but if i'm having a, a, any challenges like i'm just taking my time and you know i'm just trying to separate the hair so that i don't cause any breakage and i will end the video here thank you so much for watching and i will see you in the next one bye so <laughs> i thought i was going to end the video there but this is me like several weeks later at this point i was on annual leave and this is a different set of mini twists so for these mini twists like they were easy breezy i was literally indoors <laughs> throughout my annual leave i wasn't going anywhere so even when i put them in they were kind of loose and yeah like i remember like the back getting kind of wet whenever i would bath and everything so yeah i i, I felt shy about putting up a video with <laughs> Like the, the like earlier clips you were seeing where I didn't refresh my hair. So I was like, okay, fine. Let me try and see what would happen if I refreshed my hair at the midweek. So like I said, these ones are kind of installed loosely. Like they weren't, you know, like too taut or anything. So I went in with the same products that I had used to install the twist. So that is the quench leave-in. And then I also went in with the curl -ala. So I was applying the product to like a, a whole row of twists as opposed to like taking them down one by one and then applying product one by one I, I i just apply it like topically over a whole bunch of twists before going in to take them down so that was yeah what i chose to do so i i, I just sectioned off the parameter of my hair i remember for, for, for these twists i had a middle part so once i took one down i did kind of smooth it out because my, my hair was really really soft like it, like it didn't even take much for me to like, like I wasn't struggling or anything to finger the tangles, so I was like, I might as well just smooth it out before retwisting it. So I retwisted it, and to be honest, <laughs> so before I, 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 I finished that, that point, I, I got some of the curl -la like I'd done before, and then just applied some to the ends and twirled it. So I'm glad I tried, you know, uh, refreshing my hair mid midweek using the same products but they were way too heavy to put on old or dirty hair or like one week old hair at least that was my experience like i didn't need to because now it just left my hair saturated with product like it was too much and it kind of weighed my hair down in a weird way i'm, I'm not sure if you can tell you know like what i mean but it was just like there's just too much product in my strands now it was it was it was bordering on greasy now <laughs> it really was so yeah that's that's my experience with the and jackie's quench leave-in and curl -la, la for mini twists so i just put my hair yeah in a in a ponytail for show for the video because like i literally wasn't going anywhere <laughs> It was a pandemic and I was on annual leave for like several weeks so I was just indoors so I just put that in a bun to show you how I could have potentially styled it but yeah it was too much product and then I yeah I, I remember just sleeping on this hoping that you know like the next morning it would be less heavy and this is basically what it looked like and that is the end of my video <laughs> thank you so much for watching and i will see you in the next one